Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dad. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us today. It's me, Mr. X. Happy to damn right. Let's crack into another one. Uh, guys, yeah. I, uh, I don't know a lot about this because I don't <laughs> listen to anything, but I, I see things. Truth, not facts when it comes from Jonas. You know me. Okay. So okay. there's a border crisis, apparently. There's and there's maybe like crisis. a civil war coming. Yeah, is that right. that's what I got? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, pretty much. I mean that it. that's a big step from from step A to step <laughs> to step B there. But, know, right? but but you know it could. Happen. I saw a picture where there was non official militiamen dressed up like cowboys in front of razor wire, and they looked really like they were making business down you know, there. Well, funny, I find that Texans are always happy to dress up in their full army fatigues and get their, their, their full okay. army Well, Fred, it wasn't fully the Texans this time, though, right? So it was like this. Some dude, I read about this, this was, I guess, like a week ago or something. Yeah, it like, was recently, yeah. Yeah, like he, <clears throat> excuse me, he, like, I don't know, it's organized a big group of people, and then they caravaned to mm -hmm. Texas. So, so it was like Wyoming Cowboys. From, and No, like, they're from Virginia or somewhere. Like oh, this, that sounds like the place they'd come from, like huh? They came from Virginia like to come defend the border or whatever, right? And, and Because, well, all right, so, so Governor Sorry. Abbott has been stretching out razor wire along the border. Okay, that's, is that the hubbub that's happening? Yeah, like, so that's been happening. Okay. President Biden told him, you can't do that. Like you're not allowed to do that. The okay. Supreme, the Supreme Court ruled on and, it. And, and the, yeah, that. Supreme Court said no. You you got it. You got to let them take that they down. Said it was inhumane. And 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 he said, "Fuck y'all. I'm not taking it down." Yes. Like, oh, so, okay. So that's where yeah. the whole hubbub has started. Yeah. So if you're you know if you're was it nine inch nails? Fuck, fuck y'all. I won't do what you're telling. Uh, real quick, me. when <laughs> you say defend the border, you mean from unarmed people from Mexico who are trying to live a better life and come to our country, right? Partially. Wait, so, are they armed? Is the cartel coming? Yeah, they're just crossing. They're just crossing right. the like, river. Not everybody coming across the border is like like seeking asylum. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of crazy shit that happens comes across that border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I've heard drug, about like the drug tunnels in California, stuff, yeah. and, like all that kind of stuff. That they go from a house that's a residential house in California into Tijuana, and they're like tunneling drugs with like electric and mine carts. And I'm yeah. like, holy shit! Like they had a real establishment. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, there's some crazy stuff that comes across the border, right? Not not everybody that comes over here is like just you know poor family seeking well they they always show on the news it's just like a <laughs> that's mom, the ones a mom show. and her daughter yeah. like coming across yeah. right like and they're just like you're keeping her out you're like let that lady over like what's wrong with you yeah <laughs> let but, that lady over yeah so anyway but so anyways greg Abbott said i'm not gonna do that and then said you know he was he was throwing out legal precedent of why the state yeah. has the right to defend its border because yep. he says the, the federal government won't and, you know, and then they got in a pissing match. And then then I think Joe Biden or President Biden kind of gave him a take it down or else. Oh, then, well, I got, yeah. Okay. And, yeah. He came an ultimatum. And then Abbott was like, or else what? Oh, and, so he stood his ground yeah. and said, yeah, oh, fire he's, him, big like, dog? he's like, or else what? what? What are you going to do? And then then I think that I think at that point, then something has happened in Congress. And now they're talking about making some kind of deal. And it's all kind of well, I saw that there was out. like 13 Republican governors that yeah. joined forces. And I was like, oh, God, it escalated beyond that to the point where he actually put more razor wire up. And uh, and recently I heard that Lauren Bo Boebert had decided to send uh, live alligators to the border. <laughs> wait a second. That's wait, wait. Oh, I've what? heard about her. What? Who, who's this? I don't know. Wait, who what's is. the Bobert girl do? Isn't what's she? What's the Bobert girl? <laughs> I know. But I've heard her name before. She's in Congress. Wasn't she the one that like her She's... husband is is like real wild and like gets cops called on him and stuff at the house? Is no, that the one where I like think she broke up with her husband recently? Oh, okay. Actually. She's the one. I with swear the... there was a story about the cops going to their house that I saw. A long She's time the ago. one with the glasses and the uh, and the fake teeth. And she has she, fake teeth. I mean, they're just like very, very shiny. Chicklets? Teeth. No, they I mean mm -hmm. like uh, what do you call those? Veneers. Veneers. Ah, okay. And she has like really large chest. Oh. And oh. she was caught like uh, getting fondling a guy and getting fondled in like a public, <laughs> like a public play. They were going. To oh, really? Say. God bless America. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, man. That that's some wild imagery right there. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I suggest anybody who has not seen that you look up Lauren Bobert getting. Uh, fondled in the uh, so she like they're like a bunch of teenagers in a movie theater, but it's like in public. I don't know if there was teenagers. I just know no. I mean, like, like you know, like room. teenagers are like I'm away from I'm away from my family. I'm gonna get get all yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about it like you're you're young. You're in the movie theater and you brought your girlfriend and you know you're gonna try to grab a grab a booby yeah, or you something. Just, you just yeah. can't wait. I guess <laughs> you yeah. can't wait. <laughs> just can't wait for 
closed doors. Got to do it in front of grandma. So I don't know how you guys necessarily feel about the whole border thing. Um, I, I think there is a little bit of gray area and both sides need to realize that. But it, it it's a very sensitive t- topic, and I'm not a, I'm not a a, a Texan by by a, I wasn't born here, you know I'm not a natural Texan. not a native not a native. So, what, but you are an American. I am You're an American. American. God damn it! I guess I have to kind of rely on Mr. X, who is a native Texan. I'm a native. Yes. What is the Texas view on this? I think I I think the issue is I don't think I don't know anybody who thinks we don't want immigrants to come here. Like, I don't know anybody that thinks that. Mm-hmm. I think most people are like, I, and what I think the, the real cusp of it is, is there needs to be a process, right? There, yeah. need, there needs to be like, yes, you can immigrate here. Hey, by the way, we're going to make it a little easier so you're not waiting on a list for a thousand years, like trying to get mm-hmm. over here. Like, but it's like, because, it, and, and this is kind of where the whole busing thing has come up in the last couple of years, right? Where, where Abbott started shipping yeah, people yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he sends them to like Kentucky, like, welcome, here you yeah, go. Well, he's, he's sending them to Chicago, send them to New York, and we send them to uh, DC and places mm-hmm. like that. But it was kind of like, he, what he was saying is like, look, it's taxing our system, like our infrastructure here. We don't have the capacity resources mm-hmm. to care for all these people. And, and they don't really want to lock them up in cages, like depending on which newscast you listen to would tell right, you. Right, right. Separate them from their family, all that. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. oh, we're going to do all these horrible things. Like, no, we're just trying to have a little bit of control down here so it's not just a complete dumpster fire. Well, that makes sense. Which it is. It's a dumpster Cause fire. Because it's like, it's like Texas. It, well, and I'm sure some other southern border states, you're just a, it's like a victim of like circumstance because like, you are the state next to the border, so everyone's yeah. coming into this is your where they state. Come. Yeah. Where's all the New Yorkers complaining about the Canadians coming in, though? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why aren't they like all these Canadians coming into the into New York? They don't sneak in; they just come over the border. Oh, yeah. I come got through you. Niagara it's, Falls. It's, it's not a problem, right? <laughs> they are riding barrels over. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Yeah. yeah, and whether or not how you feel about uh, the whole shipping thing, shipping people to these places, whether you feel it's a uh, inhumane or not it has proven effective and when you said is that they had come to an agreement they had they came to an agreement with a plan that both included funds for the uh ukraine incident that is currently going on as well as the border they kind of package them together like they of like course they always do and they, they probably do. threw some sort of cybersecurity deal in there too yeah and, and, a, and a, i probably a bonus so, for themselves somebody's on the back end of that getting rich yeah oh yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 somebody's that, getting rich that's how it all works yep. but, yeah, yeah yeah always put sure. a bonus for yourself in. it's yep. a, well you know it's very interesting like the like the busing thing like i like i see how it's very wild of an idea but like I, I feel like he's just trying to really get his point across of yeah, like, yeah. hey, how do you like hundreds of people that now are now displaced having to find a home in your city compared to all of them being in Texas? It, it, it's so I saw something. And I, was like, other, I, saw, I saw a clip the other day of some dude. This was in Boston. Okay. And basically they had shut down some kind of facility or, or opened a facility of some sort basically to house mm-hmm. uh, immigrants, like, okay. like, like illegal migrants, whatever. That, that's who was there. And there was this dude standing out there yelling at the cops. And he's like, I've lived here my entire life. I've, I, have, I work a 40-hour week job, and I'm homeless. I can't afford to live anywhere. Why can't I go in there? And they wouldn't let, you know, they're like, oh, well, this is not for you. You can't come in here. And this dude was just freaking pissed, right? Because he's like, he's like, I'm like, he's like, I can't afford to live here, and I work a full-time job. And he's just yelling at these cops. So the immigrants the are, are like, getting get better it. benefits than the actual Americans who go yeah, homeless. Yeah, so, so there's another, that's another wrinkle in the whole thing, right? It's like, okay, so like, okay, wh- where do we allocate our resources or whatever? So. Well, right. Well, I mean, it's the same, it's the same thing they say about, you know, they have a lot of incentives for people to move here and start businesses and stuff, but people who are from here have a lot harder time getting that same yeah, yeah. Stuff to start businesses. Yeah. Like, hey, come here and start a business. But the citizens are like, I can't get funding to start a business. And well, it's like, yeah, oh. it's like it's like people in Hawaii. They got what they get seven hundred bucks that whose whose houses have burned down, and they're oh, just sending yeah. billions of dollars like over. And they're like, hey, how about some love over here? Like, give us a billion dollars to to help do, rebuild Hawaii. Yeah, and yeah. they're like, no, you get seven hundred bucks from the federal government, and you know, good luck with your insurance. 
and like it's just yeah it's just it i think it's a much bigger conversation I, yeah i don't have a lot of dog and like the fights but I, like i get it yeah and like it just it really seems like our system has some broken pieces it's not an easy there's no easy fix to it right? i will yeah. i will on on one hand i will give some credit to the democrats they have changed their tune lately um when it comes to bringing people into the country you've heard even uh the vice president said don't come you know, which is mirroring some of the tones that that the uh, the Republicans have been saying for years. So, I mean, we are not equipped uh, as a con as a country anymore to house all these people. So, yeah, we can barely house our own people. <laughs> exactly, we can't house our own. Yeah, I hundred percent agree that we need to take care of shit at home before we start taking care of others. It's sad to say it like that, but you know. Well, yeah, I mean, there's well, lots of things like all the money we send to f to help other countries in war, and like we have people sleeping in we the don't streets. Send and money to those countries. We just send. Guns and weapons. And then, well, why don't we give the guns and weapons to the people that need them? I'm, we already have that problem here. <laughs> if you in America complain about why are we giving all our guns to Ukraine, where's my gun? Motherfucker, go to Walmart. <laughs> all, right. all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we have.